All right, people, here we go. I'm out here in the shop. I got my boy, Jonathan Stuckey. A little blurry on him though for some reason, I don't know why. Well, I don't want to focus on you, Stuckey. No telling. Let's see. I can't get this bit out. Oh, there we go. Stone you can't get off problems already. Can't get the bit out? There's some needle nose right there, somewhere. Yeah, I, I used them, I lost them. Oh, no, they around. Anyways, what's going on guys? All right, so look, we got the aluminum rig. We're here at the shop. I told you guys I'm gonna give you guys some kind of step-by-step -step, uh, insight as to how we put this thing together. So we picked it up from Airport Marine. They got the engine on, obviously, the jack plate, hydraulic. We got our Garmin trolling motor on right here, but we still need electronics. So I got my boy Jonathan to help me out. We're about to install two Garmin, um, Echo Map Ultra 12 inch units, one for the bow, one for the dash. I actually gonna put another 10 inch on the front of this boat eventually, but right now we're just gonna roll with the two. So I'll have one up here dedicated for my live scope. You know, we gotta have live scope, man. So we'll have one up here dedicated for live scope, one for 2D sonar, down scan, side scan, and of course our, uh, our mapping, very important. So today, that's what we're gonna be running. So as you can see, I, we got stuff scattered all over the deck. We got the graphs. We got the Bass Boat Technology mounts, which are ever so important. Huge shout out to them. They've been making the best mounts, in my opinion, for years. And so Jonathan's already getting stuff tore down. As you can see, here's the, the dash, it's naked. And like I said, we just got stuff everywhere. We got tons of power back there to run all this stuff. All right, so something I wanna show you guys that I picked up. We just left Lowe's. We were very fortunate to find this. This stuff is so hard to find. And this is eight gauge wire. So Garmin recommends using a minimal of 10 gauge wire when running these electronics. But when it comes to live scope and just to ensure a very crisp, beautiful image, I think eight gauge is the way to go. So I picked up 50 foot of uh, eight gauge wire, two different colors, obviously. Um, so we can know the difference between our, what is it, Stucky, the ground and what? The ground in the hot. See, I don't know this kind of stuff. That's why I call my guy. But anyways, got to know the difference between the two. So we got our, our eight gauge wire. That's going to be the hardest part about all of this. But other than that, this is all you need. So you need uh, some zip ties, right? You need those anyways. We got some electrical tape. We got some waterproof silicone. Might have to drill a couple holes. That's pretty much it. An electrical drill. As the process goes along, this is kind of cool when you do this kind of stuff yourself. I'm not a very mechanically inclined individual, but I know people who are, but I'm learning as this goes on. So as I continue to get boats, work on boats, have problems with boats, because that's gonna happen, that's the inevitable. I can kind of troubleshoot myself, kind of figure out where the source of the problem is and get it resolved pretty quick. That's the upside of rigging these boats and doing this sort of thing on your own. So um, yeah, I kind of enjoy this, believe it or not. All right, guys, quick update. We got crap everywhere, but look at this. We got the deucer installed right here. That's a GT56. And we got the cores and the wires running up here, which we still need to tighten up. We'll probably do something to tighten this up a little bit to make that a little more clean. But uh, right now we're trying to pull wires. Deucer wires, power wires. We're taking everything off. Stucky's doing all the work. Nothing changed. Hey, nothing changes. I'm sitting back. I got Pops out here too. He ain't doing nothing but just looking at everything. We having a good time. I'm having a great time trying to get these garments on. All right, guys, so right here, we just removed, this whole piece comes up. This is where the foot pedal is and the only little bit of fiberglass on the front of this boat right here. It has about six screws that holds this down. We pulled this up and you can see in here, this is where we gonna mount the black box for my Garmin Live Scope. We're gonna zip tie that to the rod tubes and uh, that's gonna be that. I don't plan on going to Lake Erie in this boat, so that should be nice and secure, tucked away right there, zip tied down. There's also a uh, aluminum brace right underneath. That's gonna give that some added support, so that should be good. Uh, we got the wires ran. 
up here up front. We have to take this whole piece right here off where the gear shifter is. This whole panel comes up and there's some tubing down there that allows us to run wires from the back to the front to the console. So it's kind of crazy right now. Everything is torn apart. That's the nature of the game. I mean, we got stuff everywhere. <laughs> she gonna look good. Yes, it is a new day. I got on new clothes and so does Stucky. He just got off work. We're over here, we're back working on the aluminum boat. So we got all of the wires pulled. This was very, very challenging in this particular boat. We got like eight wires, individual wires, all eight gauge wires ran from the bow up there all the way down through here, right? Out the back, back here, and into the battery compartment where we're gonna connect all of the power. It has been quite the challenge, but we got it. So uh, next step now, we need to uh, run a couple more wires, believe it or not. I think there's gonna be a total of eight wires. The setup's gonna be two graphs up front, one at the console. So we got live scope on one, 2D sonar mapping on the other unit, and then for here at the, at the console, there's gonna be you know your down scan, side clear view, side view, et cetera, 2D sonar mapping. Um, so now we're gonna run two more wires, then we'll start connecting all of the terminal posts Get everything connected and wrapped up. It's been a job. It's been a job, bro. Look at the front deck. If y'all don't, y'all think I'm lying. Look at this front deck. What you don't take in consideration with the aluminum boat, different from my fiberglass boat over here, is there's no room along the walls here. The, the, the tubing is very small. So when you're trying to run wires and make sharp turns like this here, underneath there, it's about impossible we had to get a little creative but uh we made it work all right so we got the pan optics on got the wires ran on the live scope from here up the trolling motor of course back down but now we got this little centerpiece right here off where the trolling motor goes we got to drill a hole down in here with a dremel and that's where the transducer cord is going to come back up through to connect right here to the basketball technology through there and into the units this has been a job man we've been uh we've been learning a lot i'd say what you think stuck we've been learning yes sir ain't a lot of room in this aluminum boat and uh this has been challenging man so shout out to all my boat riggers out there the folks that work at all these marine places man rigging boats hey hats off to y'all i'll likely never do this again it's likely. I ain't saying I won't. It's likely I'll never do it again. In the meantime, I'm gonna sip this good tea on this good winter morning. Even though it's like 70 out. But I got a hoodie on because y'all know I don't play with that. What we wanna be doing. <laughs> Last like weeks of this kind of weather we get too. Yeah, I know it. That's what, yeah. That's the other thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we got my boy D in the house. He just swung, he just swung by to check me out. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? We uh we should be rigging up this boat. He about to go to the lake catching some fish. I'm jealous. We in here working, man. All right, we got it all most done. Got all the wires ran, everything's connected. The last thing we gotta do is put these little, what do you call these, Stucky butt connectors? Yeah, terminal connectors. Terminal connectors. So now we just need to put these terminal connectors on like this one right here, we already got one on, right? Put these terminal connectors on there and then heat shrink it this is right here is heat shrink so we can uh we can heat that up shrink that down connect those to my battery and we done man stuck you on break having him a nice little apple got to be on break sometimes can't be always working
Yeah, man. Shout out X2. We're running X2 batteries in the aluminum, the AGM, as well as the uh, trolling motor batteries. So this is all we got right here. Last little bit of mess. We're going to clean that up. We're going to have ourselves a tricked out aluminum boat, man. I'm really digging this boat. I like it a lot. 18 foot Ranger RT188. We are done. Show you guys what we got going back here. So obviously those are trolling motor batteries, but these are the wires that we ran right here. Green for hot, black for ground. Not the prettiest situation, but we got it going on right here. All hooked up to our AGM. Two 12 inch garments. There we go, clear up, there we go. And here we go, the moment of truth. We got them ethernet connected, so they both should come on at the same time. Let's see what we got. Voila. Walk up here. Voila. 10 inches gonna go right here. Man, we got ourselves a setup. The aluminum boat is ready. She ready for combat. Yes, sir. All right, people, I hope y'all learned something, man. I had a good time doing this. Took us a little while, ran into some hurdles, had a few little issues, but we got it done, man. So uh, again, we got a 12 up front, a 12 up the console. I got another 10 coming for the bow as well. So that's gonna be the setup in an aluminum rig, but I can't thank my boy enough right here. My boy, Jonathan Stucky, always coming through, man. You've been, you've been on the channel a lot, bro. Yeah, I have. Hey. I'm well, ready to go fishing. He's re hey, he ready to go fishing, so. Now I gotta take my man out on the water, but as hard as he worked, he go fishing anytime with me, man. So uh, shout out to him, shout out to Garmin, shout out to Basketball Technology. We got it all set up. We got a sturdy mount that's gonna last us forever, man. Those mounts are no joke, but uh, really happy to be done with this rig, man. This is gonna be my around the house rig. So when you guys see me around the lake, make sure you say what's up. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hope you learned something. I'm out, I'll catch you on the water. See y'all next time, peace.